everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. And today we've got the sound system demo on the 2022 Mazda CX-5 and its 10-speaker Bose audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, speaker locations, then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing these same songs, video in and video out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. Right after I record this video, I'm going to hook up our members only tracks. We're going to listen to some of the requested music from our DM supporters. So if you want to check that out, check the link in the description. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This beautiful CX-5 signature is the uh, refreshed version of the CX-5. I think technically you could buy a 2022 CX-5 pre-refresh. So it would have looked a little bit different, a little bit more like the older one. Not had this uh, body colored cladding like this and this all new white paint. This one looks really good and the interior is great as well. A little bit of a surprise for us to have it this week, but we've been really happy driving it all around. So if you do want to see more on the CX-5 in general, check the links in the description. We've got all sorts of videos on this model. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. And I recommend wearing headphones so you can hear exactly what I'm hearing. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default. So let's take a look at those now. The Mazda infotainment system is a little unique in that it is not a touch screen. You can't reach up there and do any sort of controlling by touching it. You have to control things through this knob. A little bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it is pretty intuitive. Right now we're in the media screen. We're going to hit the back button, go to audio settings. You see adjustments for bass and treble. Let's go through those now. Outside of that, you have adjustments for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. You'll see there's a listening position adjustment. That's grayed out right now, and that's because we currently have Bose center point on, which creates a virtual surround sound listening experience. If we were to turn that off, then you could go up here and change your listening position to focus either on all seats or just the driver's seat. Below that, you have Bose Stereo Mode. There are two different options here. It says selects the desired stereo listening experience. Go in there, you've got linear and standard. Linear is gonna put the sound a little bit more in front of you, a little bit more like a studio recording, or if you were sitting in your living room with a, a, a two-channel surround, uh, two-channel sound system experience. And then standard is gonna have a little bit more of an enveloped kind of from the side of you experience. As this music picks up, we'll go back and check that out. Then below that you have Bose center point. As I said, this is more of their surround function. And in this car, I quite like it. I think it sounds pretty good. It's gonna be a little bit more hollow and a little bit more artificial sounding than keeping it off and getting a little more true to recording sound. But if you just wanna kind of be impressed by your music rather than listen to those very particular intricacies in an uncompressed track, you might like this having, you might like having this on. It's a pretty dramatic difference and you can choose between one, two, and three for how dramatic your surround experiences. So again, once this song picks up, we'll go through those. Lastly, below that, you have Bose Audio Pilot. This adjusts the music, picks up volume and certain elements of the songs as you get going faster. And as there's more road and wind noise, it's going to adjust the music. We're gonna leave that off and adjust the volume manually. So let's go through center point and the Bose stereo uh, experience. between standard and linear stereo modes is pretty subtle, but the difference between center point on and off is pretty dramatic. So I kind of like having center point on one 
To be fair, there isn't a default setting in the system, so I am going to start the review with center point off, and then throughout some of the driving, we'll turn it back on, kind of play around with it. That is your media adjustment screen. For audio controls in the 6.5, you have a nice volume knob placed very conveniently near the control knob here. It's got good clicks, very nice, easy to turn for both the driver and passenger. You also have volume on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, interestingly, no physical control around here for track selection. Technically, you'd have to be on the media screen, and then you can either start scrolling, and it'll show you your songs and your USB menu here, or you have to press down on menu, go into playback controls, and then you have sort of a, a back and forward seat control. But you do have track selection on the left side of the wheel, right by volume where it belongs. Audio inputs in the 22CX5. Let's go up to source list. You have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Pandora streaming built in, Bluetooth, and then two USB A ports in there, both available for data. And that's it. So, what is, well, I should say that uh, allows you to do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but you can't do them wirelessly. So, what does that mean you're missing? Like I said, no wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, no USB Type-C, a little bit surprising for a 2022 refresh not to have Type-C, not the end of the world though. And there's no uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, again, not the end of the world, but with that and no CD player, it does kind of limit your availability for hi-fi audio. Speaker locations, as I said, this is a 10 speaker system. A little weird that this is only 10 speakers, whereas a lot of the other Mazdas are 12. This one still sounds very good, I'm not complaining. Starting in the bottom left, you have sort of a door woofer mid-range there. One, tweeter, two, center three, four, five. In the second row, you have six, seven. Open up the trunk. You have deep pillar speakers back here, right there making eight and nine, and then a big old subwoofer in the spare tire making 10. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away so we can get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling.
admittedly, once a lot of the instruments come in, this system gets a little bit overwhelmed. But overall, I'm very satisfied with the power and I'm satisfied with the crispness. I think they did a really good job balancing the mid ranges with these speakers around here and then having a little bit more of that bass punch come from the back, back of the car. Now, admittedly, oops, my preference would be to turn up the bass one or two clicks for most of the music I listen to just to get a little bit more of that drive from that subwoofer. It does have to carry from all the way back under the floor in the trunk area, but I'm pretty happy with all the mixing that we're getting and the ability, if you want a little more hollow, a little less hollow, a little more surround, you can do that with the center point and the stereo modes. So this next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up see what that subwoofer can do. my thoughts on the 10 speaker Bose system here in the Mazda CX-5. For this class of vehicle, much like the rest of the CX-5, it punches above its weight. It does a really good job at the power, the crispnesses, the balances. Once you get used to the rotary knob interface, it works quite well. It's just barely squeaking in at an A for me in terms of sound quality. It's not quite as good as the CX-30, I will say. The CX-30 with its 12 speaker system is a little bit better, but I would place this a little bit above the CX-50 that we just recently tested. So all of the Mazda Bose systems are right there in that, in that low A, high B range. This one's kind of a little bit more on the lower side, but I think it's just barely squeaking in with an A, and it's just because I would happily listen to any of my music on this system. I think, yeah, definitely A minus. It's just, just barely enough there to warrant it but again once you appreciate the price point and the type of vehicle not bad thank you all so much for watching if you do want to see more on the cx5 check the links in the description and we'll see you on the next one i'm charlie from daily motor and as always drive on <laughs>